should not be on the picket line. He should be on the southern border working to close our southern border because it is unsafe, wide open, and insecure. Look, I do disagree with something Tim Scott just said. Joe Biden doesn't belong on a picket line. He belongs on the unemployment line. As president of the United States, I'll be standing with workers all across America, and I'll be standing for the right to work of every American to join a union or not join a union as they decide. If the government shuts down, should voters blame populist Republicans? Voters should blame everybody who's in Washington, D.C. Where's Joe Biden? He's completely missing in action from leadership. And you know who else is missing in action? Donald Trump is missing in action. He should be on this stage tonight. He owes it to you to defend his record where they added $7.8 trillion to the debt. And I want to look at that camera right now and tell you, Donald, I know you're watching. You can't help yourself. I know you're watching, okay? And you're not here tonight. Not because of polls and not because of your indictments. You're not here tonight because you're afraid of being on this stage and defending your record. You're ducking these things. And let me tell you what's going to happen. You keep doing that, no one up here is going to call you Donald Trump anymore. We're going to call you Donald Duck. You have said slaves develop skills in spite of slavery, not because of it. But many are still hurt. For the sentence of slaves, this is personal. What is your message to them? So first of all, that's a hoax that was perpetrated by Kamala Harris. Uh, we are not going to be doing that. Second of all, that was written by descendants of slaves. These are great black history scholars. So we need to stop playing these games. There is not a redeeming quality in slavery. He and Kamala should have just taken the one sentence out. I have a radical idea for the Republican Party. We need to win elections. And part of how we win elections is reaching the next generation of young Americans where they are. So when I get into office, I've been very clear. Kids under the age of social, under the age of 16, should not be using addictive social media. This is infuriating because TikTok <laughs> is one of the most dangerous social media apps yes, that is. we could have. And what you've got, I honestly, every time I hear you, I feel a little bit dumber for what you say. You've gone and you've we helped China stop. build, make medicines in China, excuse not America. Me, excuse you are me. now wanting kids to go and get on the social media that's dangerous for all of no. us. You went and you were in business with the Chinese that gave Hunter Biden $5 million. We can't trust you. You. Polls don't elect presidents. Voters elect presidents. Right. And we're going to take the case to the people in these early states. We're going to do it in a state-by-state -state direction. And why? Because as Reagan said in his day, this is our time for choosing. Hi, friends. It's Tisha. You know me from Fox. Uh, and here am I dissecting the political news as I always do. So, you just saw a portion of the debate, courtesy of NBC. And that debate was on Fox. So courtesy of Fox, you got to see the debate. And it was lackluster because President Donald Trump wasn't there. So, you know, President Trump is leading the GOP. He had no reason to be there. They're chasing him. He's not chasing them. Tim Scott came out real heavy talking about the southern border. As you know what's going on in the United States, illegal immigrants are just marching in. They have no visas, they're just not, they have no rules whatsoever. AOC and a lot of big government people are saying, come on in, come on in, come on in. By the way, America owes 33 trillion US dollars and we're still inviting illegals in. It's destroyed New York, it's destroying California. These illegal immigrants have not paid in one Penny to the United States. They did not pay a penny in. AOC, another big government, is printing US dollars and handing it to them. And we wonder why we are in an inflation. All right. AOC said recently that the inflation is propaganda. So she doesn't even believe we're in an inflation. That's just out of touch. Government is big government. Mike Pence said it's time to get right to work. Mike Pence came out. Pushing hard, but not hard enough. Sorry, Mike Pence. I think that it was a little lackluster there. DeSantis, he said he wants to talk to Trump about the $8 trillion in debt. DeSantis, what about President Obama? He had $19 trillion in debt. And don't forget that even though President Trump added $8 trillion, big government, Obama and Biden, added much more to that. 
So DeSantis, you're talking to the wrong person. You need to talk to Biden about the trillions in debt and also Obama, okay? So DeSantis, you chose the wrong person. President Trump did not add to that debt as much as big government did. That's the biggest problem we're having, DeSantis. Big government came in and rack up the 33 trillion. First we had Obama, then we had Biden. Christy Chris, oh, Christy Chris, you get so much liberal attention. You're related to Aaron as well from CNN, so that probably helps you. But Christy Chris, your poll numbers aren't looking good. Christy Chris said something and we need to correct him. Christy Chris said, Donald Trump is not on the stage because he's been indicted and he's afraid. No, 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 Christy. No, no. After 18 years of doing politics, come on, let's be real. Donald Trump is not on the stage because he's leading, Christy. He's leading you all. So why would the leader be going to follow the followers? Christy, your numbers are low. Picking on Donald Trump ain't going to get your numbers higher, Christy. And Christy, I got to tell you, you've got a long shot to get this GOP. So coming out saying, whoa, Trump is being indicted. You know, it's a setup to begin with, Christy. So I don't know why you're jumping on the liberal media bandwagon. Aside from you want some more ratings. And then the word Camila Harris was used by either DeSantis or Mike Pence. Because Camilla Harris said something about African-American slaves. Camilla Harris, as you know, is the vice president of the United States. And she's doing nothing. Even Nancy Pelosi says Camilla Harris does nothing. She does nothing. She doesn't have any children. So what is she supposed to do? Seriously speaking, you have no kids. You're a career woman. That's all you're supposed to do is pursue your career. You don't pursue family. So why would Camilla Harris help us with the family when she doesn't have one of her own? She doesn't have her own children. So for you people who think that Camilla Harris is doing nothing, that's the whole point. She's a career woman. She's already achieved a lot of accolades behind her name. And doing nothing and getting paid is a problem. However, in government, it seems to be the thing to do. And Vivek Ramasamy, he came out slamming, but then Nikki Haley just dragged him down. Those two, Vivek Ramasamy and Nikki Haley, those two along with Donald Trump, those are the three top ones, okay? That's it. Those are the three pick. Nikki Haley has a shot at it, Vivek Ramasamy has a shot at it, and Donald Trump. Those are the three top ones. That's why Nikki Haley was fighting Vivek Ramasamy because Vivek Ramasamy numbers are high and Nikki Haley, she's got a shot at becoming president of the United States. In fact, Nikki Haley's polling better. She can win Biden, just so you know that. But will Donald Trump come out of the way so that Nikki Haley or Vivek Ramasamy can go forward? 